kind of like playing Florida. All True Blue fans know that Kentucky's only beaten Tennessee once in the last 30 plus years. On a day similar to this one, it might be the Wildcats' best chance to do it. The Volunteers having a dismal year, hadn't scored an offensive touchdown in a month coming into today, and Tennessee without their best offensive player after John Kelly was suspended earlier this week following a citation for possession of marijuana. Well, former UK head coach Rick Brooks was back in town this weekend. He and his bowl teams from 2006 to 2008 honored during tonight's game. Looked like it was a great time. Benny Snell didn't get off to the best start, fumbled the first snap of the game that led to a Tennessee field goal, but makes up for it with a six-yard touchdown run. On the ensuing kickoff, though, nearly a fight less than five minutes into the game. Both teams assessed a blanket unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. Then Benny... Another one from two yards down to make it 14 to 6 UK. Lynn Bowden back in the Wildcat, and this is something that he brings that Benny doesn't. 36 yard pass to Taven Richardson brought down at the five. In the first half, all about Benny Snell. One more time from one yard out to make it 21 13. It was 21 20 UK at the half. In the second half, though, much Different story. Kentucky, third and five. Johnson would be going for it. Is going to take off and run. Huge holes. Huge first down. 34 yards. When he's dragged down, though, he lands a little bit awkwardly. He had to be taken back to the locker room for evaluation. In comes Drew Barker. Looks like he's going to run for the first down. Tons of space. Fumbles the ball. Tennessee would take over and it would lead to a volunteers field goal to make it 24 21. johnson back on the field first play from scrimmage for him run goes for 17 yards in the first down and johnson is fired up but kentucky they had so many issues holding on to the ball tonight juice johnson fairly quiet makes the catch takes a huge hit and cost up the ball. It would lead to another Vols field goal, 26-21. The defense, though, stepping up when they needed them the most. T.J. Carter, a huge sack to back up Tennessee. And Kentucky, when it counted, it was Steven Johnson. From 11 yards out, jumps, dives in for the score. That's going to make it 27-26. And U.K. going for it on the two-point conversion. Johnson finds Benny Snell. It's good. 29-26, Kentucky Vols down to their final moment. Hail Mary pass is going to come up short as Kentucky holds on to win 29-26. Keith Farmer joins us live with much more from an excited Kroger Field. Dorian, this is one of those games that Kentucky had to win. One game away, away from bowl eligibility, taking on a Tennessee team that's just limping through the season, having a tough time. As you mentioned, John Kelly not playing in this game, and yet Kentucky just about handed this one over to them. Four different players fumbling the ball away to Tennessee. And really, the balls, that's where they got most of their points off of those turnovers. Kentucky finally settled down. And it was also one of those games in the second half after Tennessee got the lead where inside Kroger Field, it was just this hushed, tense moment because Kentucky fans were just waiting to erupt, but they just couldn't find that moment until the final minute when Steven Johnson was able to make that touchdown run, and then they just felt like they had this game. Now Kentucky is bowl eligible, and for the Wildcats, a chance to breathe a sigh of relief. Mark Stoops talked to the SEC Network after the game. Oh, it means a great deal to our team, our fans, our program. It was anything but pretty tonight. Um, but the final score certainly was. We knew Tennessee has great pride. Uh, Butch does a great job, and I knew their players said, you know, we're going to play hard, and, and I felt like our team was ready. We made a lot of mistakes, but uh, grateful to get the win. So Tennessee still winless in the SEC. Kentucky winning it by three tonight, and again, they are now bowl eligible. Six wins. All they now have to do now is just keep winning more and more games to get closer to a New Year's Eve bowl or maybe even more, and maybe they're still in the hunt for that SEC East title. It's going to be tough chasing down Georgia. That'll do it for now from here at Kroger Field. Dorian, back to you. Thanks, Keith, and we'll have full reaction on Sunrise Sports in the morning. Well, this morning, Kentucky basketball great Alan Feldhoff Sr., passed away after a prolonged battle with cancer. Feldhouse played for Adolph Rupp in the 1960s and also caught for the U.K. baseball team. 
Following a stint with the Washington Senators minor league team, the Boone County native returned to Kentucky and coached high school basketball for 27 years, first at Russell County, then at Mason County through most of the 1980s. The patriarch of the Feldhouse clan, his son Darren Feldhouse, was a member of the Unforgettables that lost to Duke in the regional final on Christian Leitner's infamous last second game winning shot. His other son, Alan Feldhouse Jr., is the head coach at Madison Central in Richmond, while his third son, Willie Feldhouse, is a coach at Mail in Louisville. Feldhouse Sr. was 77 years old. Well, back to football. Kentucky's opponent for next week, Ole Miss hosting Arkansas. They were in desperate need of a win. Rebels up 14-7 in the first quarter when Jordan Tamu breaks the 49-yard run up the middle for the touchdown to make it 21-7 Ole Miss. It was 31-7 at one point, but Arkansas storming back. 37-25 in the fourth quarter. Tamu fumbles. Kevin Richardson scoop and score as the Razorbacks stun Ole Miss 38-37. We'll have more LA18 news after this.